Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. My name is Baron Collins Hill, and in this week's lesson, I'm gonna talk about a little piece of gear that I use and I get a lot of questions on, and that's about these little uh, rubber grommets, and sometimes in the past it's been a piece of leather that I put below the bridge and above the nut, and what that does for me and why I use them. I myself am not a huge gear-oriented person, and if you're looking for more music-related lessons, check out mandolessons.com, where you'll find all kinds of tunes and songs and techniques and other music related stuff. I put out new lessons every week here on YouTube, so subscribe if you haven't already. All my lessons are always free, but there are a couple ways to donate, which uh, helps me continue pumping out videos for you all. You can become a member on Patreon and get access to lessons a day early, free play along track downloads, and patron only live streams, which are always a lot of fun. For now though, let's uh, jump right into talking about these little curious things that I use and why I use them. A lot of mandolinists will see my videos and notice that I have these little grommets, and in previous videos it's also been a strip of leather or a shoelace. I've got it behind the bridge and above the tailpiece, and also some uh, behind the nut and in front of the tuning pegs. So in these two slots here, and they see these little grommets or pieces of leather and they wonder what that's all about, so I'm here to explain why I have those and give you a sound comparison between uh, with these grommets in and with them out. So the material doesn't really matter too much, but the idea is you're dampening the sound of the strings behind the bridge and above the nut. So I'll do some sound comparisons in a second, but if these little grommets or a piece of leather aren't here and you strum those bits of string, you're gonna get a wild jangly sound. It's gonna add brightness and some strange overtones to the sound of the mandolin. It's not always a problem. There's some instruments that I have that I like to keep the those spots open and ringing because it adds a little shimmer to the instrument. But on mandolins, for the most part, I really like to try to concentrate the sound and have as few overtones. Because you've got the double courses, they're already a little bit jangly by design, so really kind of muting below the bridge and above the nut, I can concentrate all the sound coming out of the instrument on these actual played strings. In the past I've been playing and had particular notes kind of get caught, so at one point I had a B flat. If I ever played a B flat on the instrument, I would have it ring above here and I'd be unable to stop it. It was interfering with the sound I was getting. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a quick little sound test and show you what the instrument sounds like with the grommets back there and above the nut and what it sounds like when they're not there, uh, both strumming those spots and also just playing the instrument. So with the grommets, it sounds like this. So this is the sound of the instrument with the grommets taken out and no longer there so those strings can ring freely. Behind the bridge, above the nut, and if I play a little bit of music, I don't know if you can pick that up through this microphone, but every time I stop these chop chords, there's a little bit of ringing. It's slight, uh, so these are no long, by no means a necessary item. You don't need to have these little grommets or a piece of leather. Um, it just kind of takes away some of that shimmer that happens when these uh, strings are left to ring freely. So that's all for now. I just wanted to give a quick explanation for why I dampen behind the bridge and above the nut. If you're interested, I'll have a link in the description 
to finding these little grommets, but really I don't think it's worth buying anything to test out. Uh, you can always just use an old shoelace or any sort of, you can use a rag, it doesn't really matter. Just try dampening behind the strings. See if you like that sound. It's slight, but I like the overall effect of having those spots dampened. Uh, lots more lessons and a lot more music lessons over at mandolessons.com. New lessons on YouTube every single week. Always free. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.